Josh here with Josh or Mobile Auto Detailing. Just wanted to show you a revised video of my mobile detailing van. Uh, quite a bit has changed. I've changed the interior a little bit and dramatically the exterior. As you can see behind me is my uh, freshly wrapped 2005 Dodge Sprinter 3500. The wrap turned out great. I got it done by Protective Film Solutions and I love it. So let me go ahead and show you the back of my van and we'll start off there. Not too much has changed back here, but a little bit has. You can see right here, I used to have my, my two uh, canopy frames mounted right here, but now I have a tall ladder I can get up on RVs or fifth wheels because I had a few jobs like that. Another thing that's changed a bit is, is this uh, rigid four gallon five horsepower vacuum. I've got it hooked up to a 50 foot hose attached to this reel and uh, the reason I got this small vacuum was because I didn't have this reel before. I used to pull this vacuum out. It was in one of those totes So I used to pull this vacuum out and walk around the customer's car with it and vacuum that way. Since then I've decided to, to mount the vacuum and eliminate the variable of having to pull the vacuum out get it set up. Even though it's a short, a short uh, process, it's still a process. So I wanted to eliminate anything that had to do with moving a vacuum around and uh, walking around with a vacuum when I could, you know, one might say it's a lazy person's way or whatever. I like to say it's an efficient way. Um, it saves me time in one area. It gives me more time for other, for other aspects of the job. So anyway, this vacuum is plenty strong enough. So here's the upgraded vacuum. It's the uh, Rigid HD 1600. I got it from Home Depot. It was $120. You know, I lucked out because the guy who was the cashier, a uh, guy named uh, Tony, uh, said, Hey, I follow you on Instagram, and I saw you on DDE on YouTube. And so anyway, that was really cool uh, to meet that guy. And... And uh, he ended up giving me 20 bucks off, so that was awesome. I appreciated that for sure. So I got I got this uh, this vacuum for 99 bucks. I'm gonna be installing this today and going over that with you guys, plus showing you, you know, different little things I've done to the van. Sixteen gallon, next to the four gallon, six and a half horsepower, five horsepower. I just have it thrown up there. It's not uh, mounted or anything, but I just want to test it out. Well worth it. The vacuum was 120 bucks. Anybody who has room for this vacuum, it's well worth it. Check it out. Wash the hose when I just, I just.
the motor for this vacuum doubles into a leaf blower. Here's the leaf blower attachment. So all you have to do is just pull this motor out really easy. Just push this button, lift it up, and pull it out. Throw this on it and it's a leaf blower. That was just an added bonus. Suction is awesome. 50 foot hose, you lose maybe 4% suction power, which is nothing. You would never notice. The way I mounted this reel, fortunately, my water tank has this uh, custom rack above it. So it has this chicken wire, or whatever you want to call it. So I was able to use zip ties to mount this. And I say, uh, if you can use zip ties, why not? It's not going anywhere. And these zip ties are Just the heavy duty zip ties. Sometimes if you don't need to mount it with hardware, oh, use a zip tie, or four of them. Another thing that I changed in the back here, just quickly, I've taken all product off the top shelf. Now you can see the water tank back there which is kind of cool. Plus, uh, a bit of my product was getting damaged by the sun. So I also made this whole row of product, a dummy row. This is all just water and food coloring. And it's not to trick my customers at all, because I still use all that product. The reason being is I don't want it to be damaged by the sun, so I put my real product in the garage, and I just make sure that all my uh, 32 ounce bottles that are up there I'll show you in a minute make sure that they are all stocked so if they're all stocked this product won't get damaged it's just water and food coloring I did that because I still want the eye candy I still want customers to see the product I use I use high quality product and I want them to realize that's what I use, so eye candy, this is still a real product. It's product uh, I'm going to use a lot quicker and it won't go bad. So I keep real product on the bottom, dummy product full on the middle, and uh, nothing on the top. So another change that I, I have, oh, I'm going to go over what I, what I haven't changed, got my foam can in. Got my pressure washer wand and my 500 watt data vac electric air. Have my 75 foot extension cord reel, three outlet, very awesome. Just walk it on out and you got power. Got my 100 foot heavy duty hose. Got a real craft hose, hose reel. Got my pressure washer, Honda motor, AR pump. And uh, yeah, pressure washer works great. 2700 PSI, not sure the gallons per minute. But one thing I've upgraded or added since the last video I've shared with you guys is this low pressure water hose. Uh, one thing that was a problem and I realized is I need to fill up buckets, I need to fill up product. So I went to Boyce Industries where they installed this pressure washer and they installed this uh, T-valve for me. I'm sure you guys could do this yourself, but I had someone do it for me. T-valve, so I could have a low pressure source of water. Shut it off. It's good to go. That's basically everything new in the back of my van. Not a lot has changed, just low pressure source, a fixed mount vacuum with a hose reel and hose that's 50 feet long. Let's go check out the front guys. Little bits changed up front.
nothing too major, just a little rearranging. First things first though. First thing, trash can upgrade. Major plus. For a year I've been looking for a trash can. Well, not really, but I've been needing one. Now I have one. This is just Velcroed. That's it. Velcro does the job. Just stays right here in this dead space because now I have the generator right above the step there. I used to have the generator right there, but now instead I have both canopy frames right up there on the left. I got my buckets uh, bungeed right here so I could uh, fill them up for washes. I got my chair right here, my trusty knee pad I use all the time. Um, 275 gallon water tank. Who wants to see how I fill up my water tank? Uh, here's how I do it. It's being filled up right now. There's these water stores that sell deionized water. Um, so check it out. There's my, my fill nozzle. It's 10 cents a gallon. Some places a little cheaper. But that's how it's done. Come to the water store. Yeah, five, ten minutes. I'm good to go. I'm about a little over halfway now. And I'm going to just call that good. I got two canopy tops up t up there in the uh, 28 or 30 gallon bins, whatever size they are. Probably going to get rid of that uh, interior bucket. I just store brushes and stuff in there. Nothing, nothing that I really use. So, got my two and a half gallon gas tank to fill up my uh, generator as well as my pressure washer if they run out of gas on the job. Got my Vapor Chief 125 locked up to my uh, my water tank. It's an awesome steamer. If you have questions, feel free. If you're looking to get a steamer, I would recommend the Vapor Chief 125 or if you don't need chemical injection, I'd highly recommend just going ahead and getting the Vapor Chief 100 for approximately uh, 8 9 nine hundred dollars or so maybe a thousand so let's go ahead and check out my shelf we'll start at the top actually we'll start on the side on the side of my shelf I've got a three tier five times three 32 ounce bottle holder works great. On my diamond plate right over here I mounted my polishers which is awesome. I've got a flex rotary, flex 3401 direct drive which is really powerful and a Meguiar's G100 from Top back in my the day. Uh, shelving I use this bin here for dirty towels. Got my dirty towels in there. Take those home. And then I got my top shelf uh, made over. This top shelf used to be just clutter, 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 clutter. Um, bins filled with just random accessories. 
changed it up a bit. This whole area is my, uh, this whole area right here is my air freshener section. As you can see, got some vent wraps, odor bombs. Thanks to Corona Mobile Detailing, he introduced me to uh, Chemical Guys uh, air fresheners. So I got this one that he was recommending, followed by a few other ones. Glazed Donut is awesome. Got the leather scent, new car scent, vanilla bean. Good to go. Just got my products well organized back here now. Some Dyna tape in case we need to patch any any of the van up. I'm sure, everyone's seen all my dynamat in my van. Got some just different product here: polishes, aerosol product, stuff like that. It looks a lot tidied up. A lot more tidied up than before, excuse me. All my drying towels, except for that one, are in the dryer right now. Just got tons of towels here. These are the Costco 36 pack for $15. Always recommend getting these. They're, you can't find a better deal for $15 for the quantity you get, for the quality you get. They're not quite as good as my... Uh, you know, some of my other towels that are seamless and 300 GSM and stuff like that, but these are awesome. Highly recommend getting these for many purposes. Got some other towels, high GSM, super high GSM, double colored, double sided. Brushes, wheel brushes. I'm gonna figure out a system for this because this is just, these are just thrown in here, but I've got plenty of different wheel woolly options. More wheel woolies. More wheel woolies. Basically, any brush you need for any rim you come across, I'm going to have. My tire brush. Everyone's seen this. Baby wheel woolies. Anyway, got pads, lots of pads, pad brushes, pad cleaners, random tools, tape for taping off, trash bags, brushes, tools, brushes, tire stuff, brushes. That's it, guys. I've been I've really been beating myself up uh, over making a, a uh, update video for my van to share with you guys. I'm not much of a a uh, YouTuber, so I've been trying to jump the mental hurdles of creating some content for you guys, looking past my flaws, looking looking past my insecurities, stuff like that. So thank you guys for checking out my videos. And checking out my channel it's got a long ways to go but if you guys subscribe you know I still appreciate it a lot if you guys hit that thumbs up button you know, I'm, I'm very grateful so thank you guys for following my channel checking it out sticking with me and I promise I can't get any worse than this so <laughs> I'll get better at making more videos and creating content and uh, let's just go from there I got plenty of raw footage for me to uh, start creating videos, so I'll start doing that, and I'm just going to post this uh, updated van video for everybody, because it's updated quite a bit, and I'd like to show you guys. So, stay tuned. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day.